कैन यू गाइस सी माय स्क्रीन यस ओके गुड ओके फ्रॉम टू और थ्री डेज सेशंस वी आर दिस कंपनी कल्चर हैज बीन पॉपिंग अप अलॉट इन द फर्स्ट मीटिंग वी डिस्कस दैट व्हाट इज एम्प्लॉय रिटेंशन and there was always a name called company culture then we discussed uh, onboarding there was also a concept called company culture so finally today we'll take a look at what company culture means and thank you so much dipti for preparing this ppt our secret weapon for building the best culture is open and honest feedback which is why we are encouraging you to convey us anything any problems or even remarks that you have regarding universal tribes or uh, any other work now let's take a look at what we'll learn in this ppt uh, we'll take a look at definition uh, what is the origin of company culture types characteristics keys to build an effective company culture creation and its maintenance importance setbacks threats and conclusion so let's take a look at definition so what company culture means company culture refers to the attitudes and behaviors of of a company and its employees it is evident in the way an organization's people interact with each other the values they hold and the decisions they make in very simple term company culture refers to the environment of the company like how well employees are working with each other uh, how well their problems have been solved or how well uh, managerial managerial posts are handling handling everything it can be called as company culture how comfortable people are in your company uh, and how generally uh, its employees work and what values they hold as in uh, are they being honest are they being uh, Uh, they being hard working towards their work and everything can be called as company culture overall environment of the company uh, let's take a look at origin how company culture started it's through communication of course because uh, communication is the key to everything in this world and company culture is not anything different than that and if you are in company you have to have good communication with your seniors with your juniors also with your interns in general and employees in general because you you are working there and you need to have communication with everyone uh, making decisions went easier because of uh, because of the culture of the company uh, there were hierarchy set uh, hierarchy was set from the beginning and everybody conveyed their uh, problems and issues well that's why making decisions went easier people were hired promoted and also let go because uh, as we discussed yesterday also like retirements happen in government job a lot mass retirements happen in government job and then with mass retirement there comes mass recruitment also so that can also be uh, possible because of the c- company culture and how environment of the, of the company is employees are recognized because everyone is communicating everyone has uh, everyone's data an employee can be recognized as working hard or they're doing a good job employees celebrate their work and each other so employees can uh, celebrate or appreciate their work what they have done and also other people's work like their colleagues and everything because they would know now what they are doing uh, if your company culture itself is good now what are the types of culture clan culture clan culture just means if there are uh, uh, groups in your uh, your company like uh, for example there is always in our friends group also there are always groups but uh, in official term we can call them clans then adhokrashi culture which just means that people are able to uh, able to have flexibility in their job they can adapt to new things very well and uh, it can be taught that way that uh, company can uh, company can uh, adopt that particular culture uh, and it's very important in seasonal businesses like for example if you are making lamps in diwali and then you are making colors in uh, ra- colors in rang panchmi and it, like this there are 
seasonal businesses which need to have autocracy culture in them market culture depending upon the market you also have to change and if the value of the market is uh, same as in, in company itself then that can also be seen hierarchical culture which is generally the very basic form of company culture where there is a manager then there are assistant managers then there are people below them officers clerks and that's how it goes that's a hierarchical culture which we are most uh, probably recognized with out of all of these now what are the characteristics of company culture so so it can be purpose driven company culture which means all the people are working with one single purpose in their mind uh, effective communication that is very important we've seen netflix also adapted this particular company culture in uh, later on uh, in their succession years where they focused on communication and team building a lot more rather than just completing paperwork and submitting assignments and everything then open feedback which is very important again because people should feel free to tell someone that no this is wrong or you have done this wrong in long run that can help company to settle down it can help company to find out its flaws it can help company to cover up some things that they they are lacking engagement and loyalty uh, if company culture is well then it can go to it can lead to a lot more engagement because all of the employees will know each other very well they'll have different things to discuss and of course if they are feeling secured if they are they feeling safe generally it leads to loyalty also because if your working place is great itself why would you work at something else na then growth and development because you are communicating with so many people because you are in touch with managers ceos and owners of the company they'll teach you a lot more rather than uh, talking it with talking with your colleagues so you will have multiple personnel telling you what to do and how to do it so though you can you can uh, lead to your own growth and your own development also now what are the effective ways to building a company culture so start where you are because there is no dedicated time slot for any company to adapt to company culture for example netflix started their company culture pretty late after establishment uh, just before covid even so they uh, they got to know that communication and team building is a lot more important than just doing uh, ppts than doing their documents everything else so you can start wherever you want uh, however your company big small how many years of establishment you've had that nothing matters you can start your own building your own company culture from any po- any point of the company journey then define the boundaries that is very important because it shouldn't be straight out disrespecting under the name of feedback it should be kind it should be on the point uh, it should not be quarrels it should be debates and these can be defined as the boundaries and you have to set them at the time of creating your company culture now what are the keys to effect uh, to build an effective company culture model the way and measure your progress uh, model the way just means you have a set plan of things to do to your employees to get to the level you want for example if there is a new employee you give them an onboarding session you assign them a mentor then both of them has to complete a, a certain task for example in universal tribes you can say snm members have to achieve their uh, target sales and hr interns should follow them and uh, help them with anything they need so this can be the model of the company then measure your progress because of course if you are doing some certain task then company also has to know if you how well you are doing it so measuring the progress of an employee is also important and it can lead to better uh, company culture now creation and maintenance now these are two different things creation something means you have found an idea founder values and preferences industry demands there are some demands regarding that uh, and then every values goals and assumptions that you set for yourself is only creation it's not implemented yet 
for example when you start your internship we tell snm members you have to achieve 2500 rupees sales now that is their goal but its maintenance should be that once they have achieved you are giving them a certificate of completion you are giving them certificate of appreciation uh, if they achieved their lor targets you are giving them lor certificate so these are maintenance which means you have set an value and once your employee reaches that value you are uh, compensating them with something uh, so it shouldn't be just reach this and uh, that's all it shouldn't be like that they should reach it and also they should gain something from it uh, attraction attraction selection attrition then new employee onboarding which is very important because new employee onboarding is just a creation progress right uh, you would say to yourself that once we have recruited 50 people we'll give them onboarding session that is just creation that's just in your mind that's just on paper but when you actually take uh, their onboarding session then it can be called as maintenance because you have created a rule and you are maintaining them uh, then it is called as uh, maintenance of that particular value. It leads to development of leadership because a lot of uh, employees who are joining joining new company, they have to learn about company culture first. So of course there should be a leadership for leadership that they are following and that person can learn a lot more by leading the way. There should be a reward system, as I said, certificate of completion, certificate of uh, appreciation can be considered as reward systems for achieving certain create certain goals in your organization. And uh, this everything combined together is called as organizational culture. Now, uh, let's assume that a very new company has started. Uh, let's take our let's take UT as example, but not exactly UT. Let's assume we have started something related to sales and marketing and we have set the goal of uh, uh, 500 rupees sales only. We are a very small company. So we tell them that you, you achieve your 500 rupees sales, uh, you will get 20% commission off of it. And uh, once you have completed your goal, then uh, you will get certificate of uh, completion uh, and uh, certificate of appreciation from the company. Now, what what are the creation process in it? Promising them a certificate, promising them commission, and then promising them that you will uh, you will get the internship of the company. Their maintenance should be that they are getting the certificate after achieving that sale. They are getting com uh, commission after achieving that goal, and also that they have given a fair chance and fair opportunity to do that thing. And this everything combined together is just one aspect of organizational culture. It's just one aspect of our company culture which is related to sales. Now there are different categories and different uh, branches in every company. So every company has their own branches and their own organizational culture. And as a new employee, you need to uh, adapt to this culture and develop yourself along with the uh, company itself. Now, what is the importance of this thing? Uh, financial returns. Uh, because you are giving uh, a commission based job to someone, they will do their job uh, at least in hopes of getting commission. That is also financial returns. Also, company culture leads to less people leaving your company, uh, which means you have to spend less money in uh, recruitment. It leads to employee retention because everyone is everyone feels free to convey their doubts to convey their problems with you then in general culture and environment of the company will remain a lot more uh, friendly rather than uh, being uh, just straight up employee leaving after something happens it leads to innovation because a lot of people are talking with each other a lot of people have their own mentors through that interaction they can get to some point which is very important or uh, which can lead to innovation in company for example someone can find a certain thing or certain bug in our website and it should be fixed or someone will tell no no we should do this slide or we can add three buttons we can add something in our website uh, we can change the 
packaging process we can change the shipment process that can lead to innovation it will also lead to a better customer service because all of the people are working for betterment of company which directly reflects to how customer customer views our services and how satisfied customer is but the uh, there is always setbacks to something good and uh, a setback is a part of recovery of course so it's not formed in a single day company culture is not formed in a single day it takes a lot of time to even come up with certain things to with certain uh what can you say with certain rules that uh, employee has to follow and it should be te- tested and uh, checked if it works for the uh, good of employee or not arising of adjustment problems because company culture involves a lot of uh, ideas that generally com- generally generally some company won't adapt then there is a lot of work and a lot of adjustment has to be done in a company we'll also talk about uh, change in management in future uh, future lendy sessions where you'll get to know uh why this is very important and uh, as a company culture you have to adjust to that management also and it leads to certain things falling behind develop certain habits and mindset it can lead to you having certain things like for example if i'm stuck somewhere i will always call my mentor and for some reason if you leave that company then later on you will al- you'll uh, always have to depend on your mentor and then if the new company doesn't adapt this particular company culture of onboarding session or giving you a mentor uh, you will be in the mindset that this company is wrong since they are not helping me uh, so th- it can lead to some habits and some mindsets that cannot be uh, overwritten easily become a liability to a company that can happen because your mentors are helping you a lot and uh, you have all these connections and uh, everyone is happy in company that can lead to someone who's not doing uh, who's not doing their job proper uh, pro- who's not doing their job correctly uh can be found out and they can become a liability to a company because they are always depending on their colleagues and their mentors uh, there are threats also negative attitude and ego because you are giving feedback honestly you have to be careful that it's not negative and it should not hurt someone uh and it can also lead to developed ego because if someone is uh constantly achieving something they'll feel like they can do everything and that can lead to ego boost which is not necessarily the optimal way to go for uh, working in company then favoritism because you are directly acknowledging the uh, employee's hard work it will lead to favoritism also because some people will only do their job and they'll have work very hard regarding that and some other people who are also working hard may maybe get overshadowed because of favoritism lack of communication if someone gets these two things that can lead to lack of communication with the rest of their party then rest of their colleague will start avoiding them and that can lead to some several issues because communication is the key in every organization and it may it may also collapse the company itself now what is the conclusion that we come to the culture within an organization is important play important a very important playing a large role in whatever it is a happy and healthy environment in which to work it communicating and promoting the organizational ethos to employee the acknowledgement and acceptance of it can influence their work behavior and attitudes for example if you are constantly acknowledging your employee that can be uh, the employee will be happy it will lead to an healthy environment where if you do hard work you will be recognized that message has been passed but also if you over praise somebody and someone is achieving only constantly doing well in it but you are forgetting to acknowledge those who work under him because of which actually he achieved uh, achieved that success 
then it can lead to influence also because that person will say that i'm favorite and i'm getting all these things and you have to work hard for me so that i can get that again and this can lead to some bad things in company culture so while making a structure of company culture you have to be very open minded and very uh, careful regarding where you are stating the rules and how much you are obeying uh, obeying it also then if there are any questions regarding company culture and ppt uh, they can ask me yes does someone have any question regarding ppt in regarding company culture sir about threats okay what about threats ja yeah? uh, sir may you please explain me that point about threats okay yes uh yes see regarding threats there can be negative attitude for example here at universal trap we are also taking your feedback raw right we even encourage you to speak what you really want to so if you if someone is uh, not someone is not well versatile in giving feedbacks they can probably give some negative attitudes or unknowingly say something that is very hurtful to company to someone else and it can lead to ego boost because if someone is constantly being praised for their work they'll think that they are the best and they can do everything which will uh, boost their ego and it can lead to favoritism again because uh, that the person who is constantly doing work constantly being highlighted uh, will be considered favorite by everyone else that will lead to lack of communication because it happens in our friend group also na if someone is giving you something ne- talking negative about your thing and he has a huge ego then all the other people will think yeah he is not necessarily doing something that should be uh, that should qualify him to say something that is negative to you and then it can lead to then we try to avoid talking to him maybe because he is getting too much ego and we will uh, we try to avoid him at all we don't talk to him and it can lead to lack of communication because before you were talking something you're sharing something but now that that wall has been broken now it's no use because you are in your mind you are thinking they are egoistic they always tell you negative things and they are they are someone's favorite so there's no point in letting him know that you are wrong so that can lead to lack of communication in company how it will work a uh, manager is always praising someone from your your team and that team leader uh, will always work you always will work you hard rather than him working and uh, because you know that you you are working hard behind the scenes and all the recognition is received by your team leader only then you will start to lack of in communic you will lack of in communication because you won't speak to him directly uh, he has become a lot more favorite to other people and that can lead to you being uh, not so open about it as you were before uh, the company culture started yes did you understand jaya yes sir thank you sir okay thank you someone else has any questions regarding ppt anything you don't understand i'll uh, i'll share with you again it's fine you can ask in hindi also i'll tell you in hindi too it's important that you learn these things because in future you will work at some company you will start your own company na these things are very important at least you should know the theory of it if not the actual uh, concept Yes no one else has any doubts